morning, hello and welcome to day two, technically day three, but day two of uh, our time in Walt Disney World as part of the Disney trip. Today we have a jam-packed day, we are going to Fort Wilderness, we are going to Magic Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, um, where else are we going? Hello. Morning, hi! And then Magic Kingdom, Contemporary, Grand Floridian. It's gonna, be a, it's gonna be a fun day, <laughs> especially because those are like some of our favorite places as well. Yeah, we love them. Um, also, I love the fact that like everyone on the group is like so nice. We get it, like, we, we love it. We get along with everyone quite well. Um, and yeah, that's basically all I have to update you on. We're on our way to Boma right now. Boma is like one of our favorite places to go for breakfast. Um, <laughs> it's in the Animal Kingdom Lodge, if you didn't already know. Excited for waffles and pancakes. I'm just gonna eat everything. Well, I don't even know how we're doing this because last no. night we, we ate our body weights twice over, so. Good morning, Boma! Thank you very much. This is everybody. So, Boma is a breakfast buffet. Uh, we are big fans of Boma. We love it. We love it. Um, so if you want to come for like a nice hearty breakfast, Boma is a place to be. It's, I think it's very good for the price that you get because you get some like different things uh, other than just like the normal standard breakfast items. So they have like an African section, pancakes, we like pancakes, and an omelette station which I am in love with. It's at buffets that having serving experience comes in very handy. We've got the ceremonial M&M pancakes so and Miggy like Wobble! This sign here touch says, please touch me. Touch it, don't ask questions. Right, Gives you good luck. Yeah. Right, we are currently on our way to Hollywood Studios as we're going to check out the model for Toy Story Land. So we've got uh, some concert art for uh, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, which I'm very excited about. Um, they showed a little bit of a D23, so like you go in like a trackless car and you go into this room and then it like, changes the scenes and stuff. Um, also, I love the Mickey Mouse cartoons, they're amazing. And we've got a model from Star Wars Land here. La la la. Um, we've also got the Toy Story model over here. Uh, we just had like a 15 minute talk about everything that's coming. And we've got like food and beverage options. And the park, well this area of the park is opening uh, June 30th, 2018. I'm very excited about Slinky Dash. Another thing the gentleman was saying, uh, this is the current entrance to Toy Story Mania, but they've actually now changed it around, so it's gonna be like over there. So that you just come through the main entrance to the land and you're gonna have everything Toy Story in one place. And then Alien Swelling Sources, that's gonna be a bit like um, Mater's Toe Junkyard or something like that. But if you've been to, this is California Adventure, or been to Cars Land, it's a bit like that, I think. This is the original design for Paradise Pier. And I'm a little bit sad that it's not there. Oh no, this might have been the reimagined re one because that's got World of Colour built into it. The original didn't have World of Colour. So we had a little uh, talk from Kenny. Yeah, Kenny. He was the general manager of the park, I think. Uh, we are now going to go on Toy Story Mania. Yes, celebrate the Toy Story. The heat is on! Whee! Right, I'm gonna put the camera down because I am gonna win this. Yay! I am the winner, you are the loser. Yeah. So we what we just done Toy Story Mania. I thrashed everyone. Sorry, this is Alexa and Jared. Hello. All relevant social media links will be below. We've also got other people. Hi, Nikki. Nikki. Nikki Freestyle. He thinks my name's Vanessa. That's <laughs> Nikki. No. <laughs> and I'm Russell. Hello. How are you? Good to chat with you. He's, he's got a fantastic <laughs> British accent. <laughs> well, like, yes. well, like, In a southern way. <laughs> <What up? laughs> We're like one big happy family here. We are. We um, are so uh, we just did Toy Story Mania. I thrashed everyone. And now we're possibly going on Rocket Roller Coaster and then we're heading elsewhere. Evidently we're the brave ones of the group. <laughs> we're going to rock and or roll. We've come through a secret passage and we're just here. Do you have your exit buddy?
taking our private transportation. Yes, though. Um, we are on our way to Fort Wilderness. We had a great time at Hollywood Studios. Managed to do a couple of rides there. And then Magic Kingdom. Boulder Ridge. Magic Kingdom. Uh, Boulder Ridge? Boulder Ridge. Yes. Yeah. That's the DVC. I've been seeing that all day, and if we don't, I'll be like, oh. Fun fact, you, the, you can fit really six Magic nice Kingdoms in the plot of Fort Wilderness. Um, and then you get the in between. The, we have some that are all concrete pads. I would pretty much bet that Primo is going on to the all concrete pad. I feel like I'm on a, I feel like I'm on a studio lot. A oh my God, yeah. Right. Hi, my name is Adam, international film star. I'm currently on the way to the set. <laughs> like the this is my personal people. assistant, Jared. <laughs> and we're going to be like filming like seven scenes today. These are my co-stars. Hi, I'm um, Claudette. <laughs> Why did I pick that name? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Should I be like, can I be Minnie? You can be Minnie. I'm Minnie. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> what were you winning? You were winning Oh my god, we can play Drag Race. Oh yeah. my gosh. Shotgun Alessa Edwards. <laughs> so I'm sure you've seen Fort Wilderness in some of my order vlogs, but if you haven't, it's one of my favourite resorts. This is like number three under Animal Kingdom and Grand Floridian. You've got amazing cabins, which are there. You can rent golf carts, which we are on. Which we are on. Um, you can ride horses here, you can go canoeing. They have the campfire. Like, there's a previous video that is very handy for knowing about this resort, and I will link that below. But definitely worth staying at, especially if you're like here for like a good couple of weeks and you want like a chill out resort. It's so nice and peaceful here. It's really beautiful to like go to the pool and like do all these activities without ever leaving the resort as well. The family bathroom is like a very good size. And then you've also got double beds and then bunk beds and storage and everything. Really good for a family for two weeks. So good morning everybody. Welcome to this World Disney World tour of Fort Wilderness. I'm going to be your tour guide for the day, Jared. Um, <laughs> Hats and glasses folks. This is going to be the wildest ride in the wilderness. I'm scared. <laughs> I like, I don't think my issue was. We're in the Meadow Creek Recreation Area. This is where the uh, movie and the campfire are held. Uh, so if you've seen those vlogs, that's where it is. Um, nice thing is they have like a golf cart parking. So if you rent a golf cart, I think it's like 60-ish dollars a day. Um, then you can take them around the resort, park up at the main places, and obviously a cabin as well. I just want, I just want a golf cart to like live my life. Like always. Can you imagine going around your little village on a golf cart? That'd be amazing. <laughs> Pop it down to the post office, you know. <laughs> Doggy. Hey, Doggy, you... where? There. Oh, they've got a little dog park. That's so cool. <coughs> Fantastic job, Parker. Yeah, yeah. Um... <laughs> We've made it to the Tricycle D Ranch. So, um, I have been here before, I think. Um, if you have ever seen horses at Disney World, whether that's like in the Christmas parade or the Halloween parade when you've got like the Headless Horseman and stuff like that, all of those horses are looked after and live here. So you can actually, on occasion, actually take them out for a ride. Not necessarily all the ones that work. They do horse rides uh, from here. Um, so it's a nice place to come if you just, if you like horses for starters, and if you just want to kind of chill out for an afternoon and do something a little bit more different that you wouldn't normally do in Disney World. It's a great part of our history. Walt did love horses. One of his most famous quotes is that as long as there were horses and trains in his parks, there would always be a piece of him. So we consider that a little bit of job security for us, right? <laughs> <laughs> this car is for me, yes? Yeah. <laughs> right, this is our 1907 Calliope. It's 1907 because that's when it was built, but it was purchased by Walt in 1955 for the opening of Disneyland and essentially used as a commercial for years after that. It was in one Disney film about the circus that was live action. The last time it was used was in 2012 in a 4th of July parade. It is pulled by a team of eight black percherons. So that's eight of our big guys. It did originally have a pipe organ in it. You can see the remnants of that, but we have since replaced it with an MP3 player. So it can be pulled, <laughs> by, it can be pulled by six draft horses instead of eight now. Uh, we don't know if it will ever come out again. That's completely up to it. So every day at 12.30 you can actually come and get a free tour of the stables. And you just meet here. Just meet here. Uh, yeah, right at the front of the barn. Right at the front of the barn. 
every day. Now we do have brand new event here. It happened for the first time last Halloween season. And I know we're talking about Halloween really early, but it starts in August for us, right? Uh, so here at the ranch, we get our very own special Halloween event called Return to Sleepy Hollow. This year we have a new tier. So last year you could come and we watched the movie right here in the barn, Return to Sleepy Hollow. Um, and you can do the $22 version, which is a seat right in the rows. You get to watch the movie. You get to take pictures with our Headless Horseman horse and the Headless Horseman himself up close and personal. Uh, this year, we've added an ultimate tier, and that one's going to be $60. That does include a bag, an exclusive pin you cannot get anywhere else, a lanyard, some snacks like candy, and then we also have a special, special thing out in the blacksmith shop that's going to be turned into a dessert bar, and you get to have an hour-long dessert kind of buffet, and then come in and enjoy the movie oh, and that meet and greet. Oh, he's loving that. He's like, yeah. <laughs> so, fun fact for you, uh, the Circle D Ranch actually opened a year before Walt Disney World opened, so 1970. Because they had to train off all the horses to make sure they were ready for Main Street on day one. So, we're at Pioneer Hall. <laughs> um, this is where the Hootie Doo Review is. It's the longest running dinner show in the United States. Noted. Um, and apparently the show is exactly the same apart from since it opened. However, they changed the lyrics from apple pie to shortbread. That was for you. No, short, shortcake, sorry. Hi, Minnie. some snacks. Uh, we've got lunch in a couple of hours or so. so. Disney, you guys are just the best. You know, we thought, okay, we'll go over to Wilderness Lodge, we'll just get the ferry. Oh no, we have private boats as well. What is what is our life? It's the way it's meant to be. Yeah, okay, well, fair. <laughs> All aboard, who's going aboard? Wee! Uh, we were flying over the island right here, that's a natural island. There was a guy that lived on there, his name was Radio Nick. And uh, there's actually the radio tower still there, so you see a radio program from that, from that island. And back then this lake looked a little different. It was only about three to five feet deep. It was called a muck lake. So a lot of the sand and everything that was in the bottom, they dredged it all out. They cleaned it and then put it on the beaches and then also poured a lot of that over to the magic inside. Start building the foundation of the resorts and stuff like that. Oh, wow. Keep all the ferry boats and all the transportation boats. And then as you go to the underside, it's going to turn into the damage. Telling us that Bay Lake is one of the only things that Walt saw before Walt Disney World was built. Because obviously he passed away before like, construction even started. This side of the island, that's where you would come when you come to Discovery Island. You disembark there after buying a ticket at, uh, at the campground. And then after a while they took away buying a ticket and you just got to come over here. But that's where you would get off and walk on the island. There was exotic birds, Galapagos turtles, uh, Little monkeys, marmosets, stuff like that. So it was kind of like the very first animal kingdom, so to speak. They did a lot of stuff over there. Um, and now it's mostly just inhabited by birds. At night, if you ever come to the lodge from the lake, if you're coming this way, the footprint of the lodge is supposed to be a bear laying down. So the two, um, you see the two little the streets at the top there, the triangles, look through his eyes, the nose, the next thing down, it looks like a bear laying down. We're gonna be coming in with two pontoons if you can just assist us with tying up and get uh up and get off. I really enjoyed that. Oh, birds. No, but Adam, that's not funny. Oh where? I heard it, it just went. <laughs> <laughs> We've got bikes here. That's cool. And little games to play for the kids. So they have uh, these new villas. You might have seen the villas that they have at the um, Polynesian, that are, like the cabins that float on the water. But since that did so well. They have done a similar thing here at Wilderness Lodge where they've created these cabins, look like this. And it looks like we're about to go and have a look in one, which I'm very excited about because I've never seen inside one. It smells very new. <gasps> look at that fireplace. Oh my 
Gosh! <laughs> oh, ho! Oh. That, my friends, is a shower and a half. <gasps> it's got Walt Disney World today in the mirror. Are you joking me? Oh, okay. I thought the other shower was impressive, but this one's taking the biscuit. And that bath. So that bubble, that's a bubble bath. Okay, all right. Um, so, new goal. So that's Papa alone. <laughs> Stay here forever. Oh, I wonder how much it is. And then just near the front door, oh, yeah. as well as a massive tree cut, you have this lovely queen room. So it sleeps eight. This is my favorite. Mm. Well, there's also got a pull down bed there as well with Chippendale. That's so cute. And just like, oh, this is amazing. I want a window seat like that in my house. Nice. Adam, future Adam, please. Look back at this video and take note of this interior design. You want this, you want this. So this is a double bed, and this is a bed. I don't know if everybody heard it, but you can, you can actually hear the, we have all the audio from the fireworks shows. <sighs> Okay, now I'm sold. <laughs> so if you're interested in staying in one of these, it may set you back approximately $2,000 a night. But, think of a family of eight, or like two families of four, sharing this. Everything. I love this like That's industrial something. slash wilderness motif. It's beautiful. If you touch it, it closes. That's so cool. This pool is everything. They've just showed us uh, how a digital key works, which is a new thing that's come into my Disney experience. I just dropped my water bottle. Um, in which you can use your phone to unlock your, like, your room, your room, um, the common areas, like the pool and stuff like that. Um, it actually works by Bluetooth, so as long as you've got your phone with you and you can enter the app, you don't actually need to use um, like internet access to do it, which is great, especially if you're international like me. Whoop. Um, but yeah, it's gonna, it'll come in handy, especially if, like, if, for example, you lose your magic band or you've forgotten it, or you, for example, want to pop down to the pool, you don't necessarily want to take your magic band with you, all that fun stuff. Fun fact about these minecarts, you might recognise them from the Hollywood Studios Backlot Tour. They're repurposed for this. So this used to be just the pool bar, uh, but you can. This is now a spa. So if you want to get a pedicure, a manicure, or anything like that, you can come here to do that. Salon by the Springs. Nice. So Wilderness Lodge actually has uh, 705 rooms. I'm like, like learning ra random numbers about like how many rooms. I'm enjoying it. Yeah, I'm enjoying the fact that they're like, well, 365 cabins, boom, and you're like, oh, well, the cabin a day. Cabin a day. This is a one bedroom configuration. Ooh. Oh, I love this. This is a one bedroom. This is crazy. I love the balcony. Oh, mama, look at that bath. Is there a light switch in here? Woohoo! <gasps> look at that window! It's like a stained glass window, that's really cool. And they've got one of those amazing showers. Thanks, yes. Oh wow, that is great. We had a fantastic time. Uh, we are now heading over to Magic Kingdom! We've got a couple of hours spare there, and then we're heading over to the Contemporary for a little look. Um, we need to get some lunch because I is hungry. Boma was great, but we're now at like one-ish. And just like that, we're in the Magic Kingdom. But we didn't just come through the Magic Kingdom through the main way. We came to the Magic Kingdom through the VIP way. <laughs> um, we are going to head and go and get some food. And then we're going to possibly do a couple of rides before we have to head over to the Contemporary. Really, there's only one place we were coming for lunch. Isn't that right, Pat? Yes. Chicken pot pie for Adam, please. I don't know. I want. So we just did mobile order. 
So I've got a chicken pot pie, obviously. Pat's gone for uh, nugs, as she likes to say. Nugs. <laughs> Um, hashtag nugs if you're gonna get nugs. Um, we're just waiting for our order to come through and it will tell us to go to the window to pick it up. Hello! We're Adam. Uh, Adam. All the food. I think that's your... Men's diet. I'm guessing it's that one. So whilst we're here for a couple of days, um, I've got some pins with me and I'm gonna hide them in Magic Kingdom for people to find. So, if you are following me on Instagram stories, you might have already seen this. So because Disney are awesome, uh, we've got fast passes uh, for today and tomorrow. Uh, so we're going to head to Central's Mine Train, go and do that. Uh, we're taking it very slow for these couple of hours because we, we're very aware that we're on a schedule. Uh, we don't want to tire ourselves out. We want to be ready and awake for everything we're doing today. Hi ho, hi ho, it's off to where we go. Never mind. <laughs> Very good, thank you. Thank you. Ugh. Pull down the lap bar until it locks in place. Keep your head back in the headrest, remain seated. Keep your arms, hands, feet, and legs inside the train at all times. Anything. Oh. oh. of that happening <laughs> yeah so really weird thing um, Tom and Jamie I'll, I'll link their channels below uh, like Tom messaged me and was like I see you and I was like what the hell is going on um, turns out they were like the light in the line just behind us for um, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train I was like what are the chances of this happening like we've been in we've been in Disney World for two days we're in the park for like all of two hours and we happen to bump into them like crazy Currently going via Storybook Circus. We're going to the restroom and then we are taking the side path over to Space Mountain before we have to head back to the front to walk over to the Contemporary. Considering we're at the tail end of the spring break, I was expecting it to be busier than this. But you can see they've got all the extensions ready for people to be crazy busy, but not that bad today. Come on a good day. <laughs> I cannot get over the fact that this camera battery is actually lasting all day. Like with my last camera I had to change the battery maybe three or four times a day depending on how much I was filming. This camera battery is still full. I don't know if it's the Mark II being, uh, like the G7X Mark II that I've got being more efficient um, or if it's like the battery that's better, but whatever, whatever Canon, you, Canon, whatever you're doing, keep doing it. Oh. 
You look like you're in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory right now. Like you got massive goggles on. <laughs> so we just missed uh, Festival of Fantasy, which has actually worked out perfect because we're coming back tomorrow, so hopefully we can see that then. Uh, we'll be wearing our dapper wear as well, so hopefully that will... Oh, it's dapper day tomorrow. I don't know if I told you. Anyway, um, we're on our way to get to the front of the park now, uh, meeting with the rest of the gang. We've got a short walk over to the Contemporary, and then it is drink some food, drink some food. Amazing. Shortcuts through the confectionery are life when it looks like that outside. <laughs> So we're currently on our way to see a new, is it Toy Story? Pixar Play. New Pixar Play over at the Contemporary. Um, we're getting a sneak peek before the kids are let in. Uh, so I'll be able to share some of that with you. We are currently walking there. Um, the great thing about the Contemporary is it's the only Walt Disney World theme park that you can walk to the Magic Kingdom from. Uh, whew, not so hidden, Mickey. So the Contemporary is a deluxe resort. It was the second resort to open at Walt Disney World. It was meant to be the first resort that opened here, but the, due to some technical difficulties, the Polynesian ended up opening on time. Um, so because this was delayed just slightly, it opened just afterwards. Ooh. Hello. Hi, welcome. Ooh, this is fun. Very colorful. I'm excited. Do we, get, do we get to play in this? Because if that's the case, I'm very excited about yeah, it. Right? We're so excited. This is our, our second week in operation right now. So we open on April 13th. So this is a highly immersive children's activity drop-off center. So it's quite the experience for our guests ages 4 to 12. So the price point is $65. It's a flat rate. So we open from 5 to 10.30. So we encourage our guests to check in at 5 o'clock to really get the most um, experience that they can. It includes programming, character meet and greets, food, fun, Pixar, right? That's the buzz right now with all the new things coming up with Toy Story Land and whatnot. So we definitely encourage our, our guests to check in at five, like we said. We're hoping that they go off and have a guilt-free trip at the, um, the parks or go to the California Grill, whatever they would like. So again, our journey starts right here. Our cast members take care of them, fill out some paperwork, um, and then I'll hand it off to Katie. We'll kind of walk you through the journey here in Pixar Play Zone. Um, oh, it's after like that, our room. second program of the evening is Woody's Roundup, where they get to become a deputy like Sheriff Woody. Um, they get to do fun interactions with Woody and Jesse um, throughout the evening as well. Um, the third um, program that we have is our Piston Cup Challenge over at Radiator Springs. Uh, the kids get to build their own car with Duplo Box Locks, and then they get to race those down the raceway um, for their Piston Cup Challenge. So. If you're going to have daycare, might as well have daycare at Disney, right? <laughs> yeah, there's upscale daycare. <laughs> So we are here at Misner's Bar, this is at the Grand Floridian. I didn't actually show you any of the Grand Floridian walking in, I was too busy in conversation, apologies about that. Uh, we are here for some cocktails, and then we are going for dinner at Citrico, which I'm very excited about. We like cocktails, don't we? We, do. we like cocktails, and we actually really like Citrico. So I'm excited. Winning! So I got the Grand Cocktail. I think I've had this before, but I'm going to do a taste test. It's like a Shelley Temple. I should have got this one. It's very You got Cosmo. Thank you. <laughs> no place I would rather be. So I've parted the cocktails for just a moment. I need to find a fuel rod swap because my phone is dying. There is a fuel rod swap location at the Grand Floridian, but it's actually at the convention center. So I'm just going for a little stroll to the convention center. He's 
playing the entertainer. It's my favorite piece of music. Woo! So the pianist is actually named Wes. Um, he's been playing here for years. I remember coming here like four or five years ago and I was just sat there, like sitting up against the couch. Um, and it was just basically me in the whole lobby and he was like, do you have any requests? And I was like, I love the entertainer. And he played it for me in that moment. So it's kind of nice walking through at that moment and having the entertainer play. Goosebumps. So we've had the piano. Another band has kicked in. So here's the deal. If I'm coming here for like the ultimate dizzy stay, Animal Kingdom Lodge is my bay. If I'm coming here to feel fancy, and I mean fancy, fancy, uh, Grand Floridian is where it's at. If you see my Grand Floridian club level stay, it is every day. They've never seen our Grand Floridian stay. Do you know what? You probably haven't. If you go back a long way, Christmas 2013. Christmas 2013. We, me, Pat, and our friend Libby stayed here, and it was just like the best time ever. So you can check. It's, it's only like a, a three-minute video, but you can go check it out. Okay, it's dinner time. Are you excited? It's one of our faves. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like this here, the donkey tooth off is mine. It's my table. Every time I come, I sit there. Hello! Okay. Well, sitting Not today. Yeah, <laughs> doing all right. Thank, Thank you. you. They have arancini. Adam loves his arancini. So we've got an amuse which was uh, prepared for us by uh, the chef on Jesus today. Um, it's inspired by France, right? pan tuna, I don't know um, I've ordered the arancini to start, obviously, as well as uh, short ribs, uh, braised short ribs, so I'm quite looking forward to seeing it. Steak. You love a steak, don't you? I don't like fish, it's my problem with life. <laughs> So we just had Stig, he's the proprietor of uh, Citrico's. He came over and talked to us about wine and the fact that he's developing the wine list. They have 350 wines here at any one time. I can't cope with that because wine is like my thing. I I love it. I, I, I don't know, like I love these sort of things and that was... There's a, very, there's a very famous, well, there's a popular clip from when we went to Epcot, we were in that wine cellar. And I was like, oh, how are you, wine? I just, I, I love wine. wine. Like, I love it, <laughs> I love, but I love the information behind it. Like, I love to hear that, like, the varietals, all that different thing. Yeah, and he, he, was, he was saying that China is a very much an upcoming yeah, country for wine production. Like, that's that was such really a interesting. new thing to hear. Yeah. yeah. I would never have expected yeah, that. Really? I never. It was, it was red wine specifically that they're really, really good at, he was saying. And I don't think any of us really? have ever had that in China. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe, maybe the UK can start doing our own fabulous wine. Like, <laughs> maybe. We can try. Maybe we'll try. We'll try. <laughs> oh, say hello to Arancini. <gasps> My fave. This was everything. If you're coming to Citrico's, please, 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 please get it. I just burped. Please get the arancini. <laughs> and the short rib. Thank you. This is the braised short rib, and I am so excited about it. Do you want to take a picture? <laughs> Food blogger over here. That is incredible. What did you get? We got the swordfish. What else is in this? A little bit of spinach. A little bit of what is this? That's a good one. Um, I'm not sure. This is incredible. You can have a bite. There you go. I'm too scared. I'm too scared. No, it's you have to. Okay, okay. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's gone. Yeah. Brilliant pun. Yeah. So last time I came, I had a chicken dish that I wasn't like enthusiastic about. This has turned that entire experience around. It's a fantastic dish. If you like beef and you like slow cooked beef, this is the one to go for. That dinner was incredible. Uh, I've had two cocktails and a glass of wine. My eyes are very glazed right now. Kids drink responsibly. Um, we've got a cruise after this to go and see the fireworks, which I am very excited about.
This has been the best. Thank you very much. And all the customers are amazing. Like they, all, every time you walk through, they're like, "Hello, welcome," and every time you walk out, they're like, "Goodbye, thank you for coming." It's very grand for a Last time I came, last time I came here, I was like, eh. but this time it was really flipped around. Yeah. yeah, the Stitch Coast was amazing. We are now in our private shuttle to the transportation and ticket center where we were picking up a ferry to go on a special dessert cruise, which we have no idea about because it's a brand new thing which we're quite excited about experiencing the ladies themselves are Hello. very enthusiastic love <laughs> a good dessert <laughs> and uh hashtag tease it to jesus, hashtag tease it to jesus. <laughs> <laughs> talk about we're talking about like texas hashtags <laughs> we're here for the fairy tale fireworks a sparkling dessert cruise Ooh la la here you go. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you. Dust. Woo! This is when they turn everything. Oh, my kids. Oh, no, no. No, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, well, I can't see it right now, but you'll see it later. So, the firework, fairy tale fireworks dessert cruise that we're going to do is uh, $99 before tax and gratuity. It's a slightly cheaper price if you are a child. Um, but if you watch this and you are then interested in going on the cruise, just know that that is the price you'll be looking at. We're heading down to the ferry now. I've got my glow on. When your last thing off the trip is a fireworks dessert cruise on the ferry boat. Just chill. Just chill. Just chill. Living our best Be lives. Fancy. Be fancy. Living our best lives. We're going on General Joe Potter. Look at the top. It looks so fancy. So fancy. 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 Hello. Hello, good evening. Hello. Thank you. You're welcome. Ooh, they got desserts. Oh, uh, I'm in love with this. So we got our desserts. We're settled in for the cruise. You have to take a video of me when I don't play with me. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> We've got this lovely view and uh, we're going to see some fireworks tonight. Yes. Hopefully we don't have this view for much longer though. No, I'm sure we'll be setting sail soon. <laughs> I'm not sure if you're in it because I've got the I've got the I've got the muffly fluffy thing on. I'm just here for the ride. I love it. I'm really excited. <laughs> what's what's the catchphrase? Um, tease it for Jesus. Tease it, tease it, tease it, tease it, tease it, to, tease it for Jesus. Tease it for Jesus. Tease it for Jesus. I've had to put my hat on because the wind situation is serious right now. There's a lot of problems. <laughs> Um, we are there with me. Yeah. About 30 minutes into our cruise. I believe the fireworks are at 9 p.m. this evening. Um, so I'm very much looking forward to seeing Happy Ever After in a new light. So, as well as desserts, they have cheese. Right, you can't really hear the music, so I'm going to do it for you.
awesome. Like, and we got a little Rice Krispie treat with like the Fairy Tale Fireworks logo on it and everything. Really great experience. If I'd paid for that, it would have been worth it. So, if you're looking for something to do for an evening and a nice way to see Happy Ever After from the middle of Seven Seas Lagoon, yes. So, you know how I go on about how staying on property is much more beneficial because you get like Disney Transport and everything like this. They've got this special event going on, but they have put on Disney Transport to get back to your resort from the Transportation Ticket Centre, which is not a normal thing. So, A++. plus plus. So we're back in the room, we've just said our goodbyes to everyone that was in our group, and... Totes and Mo. We, we, we really liked everyone, like... Everyone's so, everyone's kind of in the same boat as like, we're all quite creative people and everyone's so friendly and wel welcoming and open to like everyone and like, it was difficult, well, a little bit difficult for us because they had like a welcome day on the first day that we arrived and we missed that yeah. uh, because our flight didn't get in until later. So it was nice that even the, even on the first morning we were kind of like, hi, we're the people that weren't here for the welcome talk. Um, everyone was really, really opening and welcome. Yeah. Um, we've still got technically another day tomorrow but this is like the last night of us staying in, in the Disney Resort provided by Disney. So, Pat, Pat's got the setup for her Apple Watch coming in right now. <laughs> so, I mean, I've mentioned it. Um, this trip has only been made possible because of the fantastic team at Walt Disney World. And we cannot thank, like Disney, when you're watching this, we cannot thank you enough. This has been the wildest, like two, three days. I mean, we are both Absolutely cream crackered. Knackered. Absolutely we're knackered. knackered. What was your what was your highlight of the past? Two I days? think my highlight of the whole thing was meeting the chef from Victoria and Albert. Yes. Um, because he made the menu for Remy on the cruise ship that I had, and it just was something that, like, because he knew what I was talking about, it just really was like incredible. I don't think I, I don't think I actually mentioned that in the vlog because I took not. pictures of it but yeah. um, so we have the head chef of the entire Grand Floridian who also is the head chef of Victorian Alberts um, he like invented Victorian he, Alberts well basically yeah he's been there for like 22 yeah. years um, he came to the table at Citrico's um, and I got a picture with him I will insert it here <laughs> my, my personal highlight was Fort Wilderness today because yeah, I love that resort buggy. I love that resort so much and having like golf buggies just go around the resort was amazing loved it so like again this trip wouldn't have been possible without Walt Disney World and they have made it so entertaining. Like the dessert party tonight was amazing. The resorts that we got to see, the resorts we got to show you guys, like this is part of the reason they invited us is that we get to show you what we have had the opportunity to um, experience. So hopefully you can live through these vlogs and have some of the fun that we've had this yeah. past couple of days. Um, so if you are thinking about a trip to Walt Disney World, do consider staying on property. They've got obviously fantastic transport. You've got dining plans so you can like prepay for your meals, save money on that. You don't have to pay for shuttles from the airport. They've got my, like, this is all stuff that I've told you before. And I'm sure it's all stuff that if you're watching this, you've probably looked up before, but having had the experience to see some of the new rooms like Yacht Club is amazing. Uh, the, the cabins like luckily we've had the chance to see a couple of them before but it was nice to kind of go through oh my god those big rooms at like the like the house that was oh, a boardwalk yeah, the house at boardwalk. that was insane but and we would like and, and the and the cabin today yeah. at wilderness lodge we would have never been able to see that because we can never afford to stay there by ourselves but the thing is when we were speaking to them they, when they were giving us like pricing and stuff it actually is a lot more affordable than you would expect. I was it surprised. To be. Like for the amount of people, like when we went to Boardwalk and it was like twelve people and it was a certain amount of money, like between the twelve people, it really wasn't that much. Yeah. I think it really brought us a lot down to earth. That they yeah. Were like, yeah, because that's really not. I that mean, expensive. we've always kind of been looking at it as in like we just look at the prices and like oh I've got to pay that. Yeah. We don't really think about it as in like, oh, that's two families. Yeah, and well, that's three families. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You don't like, think about days, people. You just think about yeah. the price. Yeah. So, just it's been it's been an absolute whirlwind, and well, we still got more days to come, which is fantastic, and we're very lucky to be able to do that. Um, we're moving over to the B Resort at Disney Springs tomorrow, which uh, is um, is technically on Disney property. 
Um, we were lo looking at staying like in Disney hotels for like the rest of the stay, but because of the time of year, like spring breaks, just I think it's either just finishing or mm -hmm. um, it's quite difficult to get any availability. That was in our price range. Um, so for that reason, we are still near Disney, but convenient, convenient, enough. conveniently yeah. near Disney. Um, Right, and that's it. I'm gonna leave it there. So thank you, Disney, for everything. It's been incredible. I hope everyone, if you watch, well, everyone that is watching, uh, that you've enjoyed the ride so far. And uh, please like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my future stuff. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.